back to my channel today i have another wizarding trunk unboxing for you and i am super excited about the theme today or uh, this month's theme yes this bi-monthly box theme it is potions class um i love potions if you watch my videos i love the potions i love getting a potion in every box and i know we get a potion in every box so I'm not gonna be disappointed about not getting a potion in the potion box but i'm hoping that maybe we get another one or something i don't know what to expect for a potions class i just i want i want some potions i know it's not going to be a whole potion box because that would be stupid expensive um but it is kind of heavy i'm not saying that it's going to be potion because i don't think it is but let's get into it i can't wait any longer i've been waiting a couple days to open it and um i've been waiting two days and i'm i'm i need to open it like now but didn't even mention need to mention this look at the box design for the new wizarding trunk boxes i'm assuming this is the design they're going to start uh, doing um and it's not just for this one because it looks like a little trunk which is such a cute design let's just take a moment to look at it uh, so we've got the owler in the front we've got the wizarding trunk at the very top and then we got some like burned marks in here it says um, up to no good looks like it's scratched in here we got like harry potter's little zigzag some stars a cauldron and the owl i think that's all i see on the front on the back here we got the wizarding trunk with their socials we got some bludgers and um some broomsticks on the back that's what it looks like with some stars we got their they got a facebook and instagram so that's their little that's their thing on the side we've got Oh, what does it say on the side? First class owl pose. Oh, cute. Vile and Cantum. Um, I shall not tell lies. Some more stars. A witch hat. And a spell book. Pokey. No. And a spell book. This is what the side looks like. The other side says fragile magical delivery. Looks like we got a crystal ball. A palm. They're like joke shop. Some stars. And then underneath, we've got like a very scratched up texture. Like someone's trying to claw in the box, which I am trying to claw in the box. <laughs> oh, and then the front, we've got the class, which I think is a very cute design. And then like some alchemy symbols. That's all I can see in the front. So just had to give this box a little bit of appreciation because it looks super cute. And so now I'm dying to get in this box. Let's hop in it. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Potions is the bi-monthly, right? It's not the, it's not the, um, special edition, right? Because this is the Owlery, right? That's bi-monthly. I say that because there is a t-shirt on top. Oh, first look. This is the first look. <laughs> and the first thing I see is a t-shirt. At least I think it's a t-shirt. And if it's a bi-monthly box, they wouldn't know your t-shirt size. But because I subscri I've subscribed to both the bi-monthly and the uh, special edition, and I have my size in the special edition, they probably know my size. Or maybe this is one where you go to sign up that they're, they'll ask you for your size. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you're watching my video and you only subscribe to the bi-monthly and not the um, special edition. If you never subscribe to the special edition how it was for you did you get a t-shirt um did you have to put in your size because i'm a little confused i don't think you put in your size for the bi-monthly i could be wrong but i don't i don't think so but so we've got an awesome shirt and i like it so far in the front is this potions club uh, potions club we've got a little thing and on the back it says potions club so we have a shirt um for joining the potions club which if you don't know me my favorite class would probably be potions class so i would definitely probably join the potions club so i think this is a very super cute shirt um soft and it's my size so that's a nice item to start off with can i just point out for the thumbnail right before the video i decided i wanted to make my own potion just to make the thumbnail and it's look at it it's like swirly right I swirled it a little too much but swirly but it's also like 100 percent drinkable yeah i just had to show that off a little bit i was a little proud i wanted it to be green but i kind of like the blue 
sorry, back to the box. <laughs> so I'm going to grab this big box here. It's got a little dinged up a little bit on the side. It's, oh, something's sticking out. So it looks like some like lantern stand and there was something else in the styrofoam. Oh, that's cute. Okay, this thing is like bur bursting. I'm so glad this thing did not break. Cause like even the bottom was like falling through a bit. This is stinking cute. We've got a little cauldron and you can hang it. So it looks like you hang it on here like this. It could be like a wax melt thing or an oil burning something and you put your candle here and oh, that's so cute. And you burn your cauldron. That is so cute. Have a little fire under a cauldron. I really love this. Um, I believe that's probably what it is. It's like an oil burner. This is so cute. So here's the cauldron inside. It's got little feet. So you don't have to put it on the stand. You can like set it down somewhere if you want. Um, but yes, yeah, super cute. And then here's the little thing. And it just plops in there. This is so cute. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to put it somewhere. The next thing in here is in this little plastic bag, which I think they probably did so nothing spills out because it looks like an alchemy for the skin pro. Sorry, could you hear me over that? Um, it looks like an alchemy. Ooh, I already smelt it. Um, oh, yeah, that was probably a good idea because it's oily. <gasps> Do you think maybe this is like oil for your oil burner? <laughs> this smells really good, though. It smells like that orange, like, insect thing kind of smells like that um it smells really good armadillo bile which would armadillo bile be a potion or just an ingredient because you know um i don't know this smells like cereal kind of it's like that orangey scent but it's kind of giving me a fruit loop vibe i don't know so we got armadillo bile orange blossom squeezable wax melt squeezable wax melt so what so is it just oil i'm sure this is probably for an oil burner so this is a good thing i picked this up first i'm gonna put a little bit on my hand whoa <laughs> this smells really good it's green which i think is kind of cool going in a cauldron you have like your green you know like classic cauldron witch thing green whatever spell juice <laughs> spell juice potion um but yeah this is what it looks like it looks slimy green. Um, it's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. But it's not oil, but it's oily. It says wax melt, liquid squeezable wax melt. So it's probably just some sort of wax base with like oil maybe. That's why it's like that thicker consistency. But neat thing that I pulled this out next. This, what's, this is what goes inside our cauldron oil burner, wax burner liquid wax burner um yeah definitely gonna have to try this out this actually smells really good i would not mind my my house and my room smelling like this don't mind me wiping off that stuff on my backdrop <laughs> oh my goodness all right <laughs> this looks like it might be a potion oh my god is there gonna be multiple potions in here i'm just excited i love i love potions okay this looks really cool Ooh, oh is this a tea what is this or is it just a, what is this i don't know let me read it okay this is cool. Let me show it off first. So here is the label and it looks like we've got a bunch of dried ingredients in here and like salt. It looks like like a chamomile, like dandelion. It looks like dandelions. It looks like lavender. It looks like we've got some pink salt, Himalayan salt, more lavender, rose petals, and then just regular white salt. And it says calming drought. Cool. Ingredients. Sea salt, hibiscus, Hibiscus. Oh, that's hibiscus. Okay. Sea salt, hibiscus, lavender, pink Himalayan salt, rose petals, and calendal flowers. Calendal flowers. Calendal flowers. Calendal flowers. Don't know what this is. I don't know if this is supposed to be a tea, if this is just a potion ingredient, because I. Oh, that's. Oh, that smells. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't have done that. I, um, I have like this reaction to aller uh, allergy. I have this reaction to lavender. Um, I, ha I suffer from chronic migraines and lavender is supposed to calm you, but it, it gives me headaches. So 
I knew there was lavender in here and I just decided to open it and smell it. Maybe I didn't think the lavender would be so potent, but it smells like lavender. Um, I cannot, oh, I cannot smell this cause I will end up getting a migraine, but it's in a very pretty bottle. I love the label for it. It's from alchemy of the skin. So this might be like a bath salt thing where you pour in your bathtub and you have, you know, flower petals and like some salt and stuff in here. So this is probably for your bathtub. So it's probably just going to sit on my potion shelf, like a little potion, because I do think it's really pretty and I really like the bottle for it. So there's that item. Next item. Okay. So we're getting like potion ingredients and our a bunch of potion, potion ingredients. This is making me happy. I love it. Potion's my thing. I was so excited for this box, dude. I'm trying to make sure this this video is not long I'm gonna ramble okay okay so this item is authentic black lacewing flies and it's in a little box on the back it says only the purest of potions pure blood apoth apothecary so this is what the graphic on the front looks like and then it says it on the sides the sides I'm upside down it says it on the sides this is the back so let's see what's in here if I'm able to. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. You're, this is for the box, to display the box, but inside are little, little flies. You get just a bunch of little flies inside the box. <laughs> oh, that's the bottom of the top. Oh no, I dropped a fly. That's kind of cute, but yeah, you get a bunch of flies in the box next thing in here we got so many little things oh they even included a little tea light candle but yeah they just they uh you, you you've seen a tea light candle they included one how sweet look at wizarding trunk so thoughtful including everything we need um we've got our little candle to go in there and then we've got our little wax stuff to pour in there and then you light it and nice I really I really do like this product next okay guys okay okay my excitement I geek out with these boxes so much I just I just love I just love them so this is a pin it is a portrait pin you know how fond I was of the, the portrait pins um, in the beginning like when it was just when it was Peter um, in the first key collecting box is a portrait pin and I said I need more portrait like pins I really like this this style and then they came out with the house boxes and I love those pins I bought well yeah I got my Slytherin you know pin because I'm Slytherin and I bought all the other pins except for Ravenclaw Rowena I don't have her yet I'm so fond of these pins I love these pins we've got another Got another portrait pin and this time is one of my favorite characters our potion class teacher Severus Snape look at him and I like that the frame is black this time but yes if you don't know Snape is one of my favorite characters in Harry Potter he was just so misunderstood in the beginning um, so yes I absolutely love this pin so we've got Snape here. I love it. All I can say is keep it up wizarding trunk. I, I'm loving these pens and I want a whole Harry Potter collection of them. <laughs> Next item, we've got brass scale Warwick's premium potioner equipment. Ooh, is this an actual scale? Well, let's look at the box. Look how pretty this box is. Your boxes are always just so pretty. Um, so let's open this up. Is it an actual scale? Oh no, I can't get this thing open. Oh my gosh, this actually is a scale in here. I thought maybe it was just like another box type item. Um, just to, you know, just to have the pretty boxes. This box is so pretty. But it, it was a little hard to open. So I had to carefully like stick my knife in there and like slowly peel it up, peel it open. But you, we've got a scale in here, it seems. Okay, so I put it together. It's not that hard to put together, and yeah, this is so freaking cool. And it comes with little weights. And so like this is a ten. 
Oh my gosh, we've got a 10, a 5, 2, 2, and a 1. Which I don't know. Oh my god. Is it 2 grams or something like that? I don't know. Put the 2 on each side. Um, this is the coolest thing. It's gonna look cool on your shelf. No matter what kind of collector I think you are. Um, this just will look cool on your shelf. This is a very cool, unique item. This is a very unique item. I absolutely love that. That is so freaking cool. Moving on, it looks like we've got another pin. You know, I love my pins. Living Death Potion. So there's that. This background is really pretty though, like a marble, like gold splat on there. Here's a little potion pen. Um, yeah, super cute. Okay, because I looked at this box. <laughs> box says bone region, region, and it says galley pots, apothecaries, like medical remedies and healing. Ingredients, mend mandragora leaves, porcupine quills, black lacewing flies, tangled golden glow seeds, powdered human bone, and giant spider venom. Some of these potions are potions that some of you should have. Um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so let's open this up. Let me show you the rest of the box. That's where the ingredients are on the side. Oh, the box got a little dinged up at the bottom. So let's open this up carefully. And again, with the little details, see the little star and like the little alchemy symbols on the side. This is in that styrofoam. So, <laughs> this is cool. This is definitely going on my show. This is our Skelligrow potion. Let me just say it. <laughs> but look how cool that is. The, I kind of wish it was a bottle. It's a full like, like plaster or ceramic. I don't know what kind of material this is called. Um, but yeah, it's got like a little fake cork on it. It's just like a little statue. Um, kind of wish it was a bottle that he can open and like it just be empty. I just, I kind of wish it was a bottle. Um, but it's still a really cool design and yeah, it looks super cool. Believe it or not, I don't have any, I don't have a Skella Girl potion. I see those potions everywhere and I don't own one. So this is definitely going on my shelf. Love the aesthetic of it because skeleton, you know, right? Uh, so yeah, cute, cute item. The next thing in here looks like a little key. It looks like, like I'm going to say it's like to the potion closet. Oh, it says PS on it. The potion storage room or something like that. Potion storage. Yes. Um, it looks like you got a little Felix Felicis on it. Oh, let me show you. Um, so here's the like potion closet key, potion storage room key that I'm calling it. And I'm assuming that it is. We got some Felix Felicis. We got a cauldron. Um, yeah, no, this is a really pretty key. And I like that it's tiny, like it's smaller than like the other keys we've gotten. Because like when I think of the potion closet, I think it would look like, you know, it'd be a small key. Choo -choo. Um, cute. Nothing on the back. There's a hole for a keychain. It doesn't look like we get a key ring with it. Wish I did so I can put it on a key ring. I wonder if I can wear it as a necklace. Would it look weird as a necklace? I don't know. <laughs> but yes, super cute. The last thing I see in here before we get into paper products is this big old box. So let's open her up. Is it what I think it is? Oh my god, there's like, there's like a there's a butt ton of stuff in here. So we've got this, and I thought maybe this would be like flu powder, but I don't know. Let's keep going. So we got that. Then we've got something in here. And then we've got something in here. There's three things in this box. What in the what? Okay, so this is like a little green solution. It's like bubbles in here. I like that, like, pretty, like, dark, like, bright like toxic green color it is. I really like that green color, I don't know. 
And then this bottle. Oh. Okay. Is it like make my own potion? <gasps> Hold on. Is it like make my own? Is this something like I can use? Can I make my own potion? Okay, so the label's not on here. But the label... Is this a sticker? It's a sticker. So like make your own po... <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm like, all your ingredients, put them together. You got a box of ingredients. Make your own potion. That's a very cute idea, I think, for a potion box. Instead of just getting potions, get a potion. Get something that you can make a potion with. Um, so this is our bottle. It's a long bottle. Our giraffe's got a cork on it. Nice bottle. Our little label is Gilly Tonic. Um, an aid to underwater, underwater breathing. So this is our Gilly Water. And then we've got this bag. Oh my gosh, this is a make your own potion. This 1000% is a make your own, like, gilly weed, your own gilly, your own gilly tonic. This is genius and so smart. This is make your own gilly tonic. Because, look what we've got inside. We've got some gilly weed. Oh my god, this is so cool. And then we've got some pebbles. Some pebbles and rocks in here. Because if you're going to scoop up some gilly weed, you're going to end up getting some, you know, rocks. Um, that is super stinking cute. Such a good idea to be like, here's a make your own potion uh, thing. Super cute. I'm finally going to have a big bottle of gilly weed. I have this little tiny one I made out of real moss, which is not really a good idea for the solution I put it in because it's growing mold. Um, so... <laughs> This is better. This will work better. And so this, that's why this is so potent green. This is going to be cool. I, you're going to have to stay tuned because I am definitely going to have to make another video of me making our Gilly Tonic. Okay, moving on to paper products now. The very bottom of the box here, if I can pick it up. So looks like we've got, oh. I was going to say, looks like we've got another creature page, but it's not quite a creature page. It is a preparation of the Wolfsbane potion. So here's that. You can pause and read that if you want. Love the little, I love the art on here. Then here's the back. You can pause and read that if you want. Um, yeah, that is super cool. Like I said, I want to get more of those plastic slips to go in that creature uh, book binder because I would like, like, if we have werewolves, you know, put this by the werewolves or just have these at the end of the book, just put them in the end of the book or somewhere like that. Um, yes, I, I, that's where I want to put it. Unless you give me a potion book and start giving me potion pages. Because I am a thousand percent down for that. Creature pages. Now we get some potion book pages. Oh my gosh. I need, I would, yes. Please. Wizarding trunk. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. The next one. Oh, that's our cheat sheet. Oh, this is a really pretty print. Okay. This is just like a potion. This is our print we get in here. Oh, you see that bottle right here? You see that bottle right here? Kind of looks like the one I made for the thumbnail, except I wanted it to be green. I wanted to make it that way, but I didn't have the green, so I made it blue. So. <laughs> and I believe that's everything in the box. Jeez, guys, this was a very good box. I think this was a very good box. So, potions class. Number one, potions club t-shirt. Super soft t-shirt is only available for members of the potions club of the Potions Club, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Cauldron Wax Warmer, designed to make your room smell just like the potion you're brewing. Number three, Armadillo Bio Wax Melt. A few drops of this squeezable wax melt into your new wax warmer will, will fill your room with the amazing scent of Armadillo Bio or Orange Blossom, created for us by Inflammary Candles. Um, label designed by Wizardry Workshop. Portrait pen. This portrait hangs in the dungeon and oversees your potion classes. 
Potion storeroom key. This key allows you access to the potions master's Potion Master's private storeroom, designed for us by J.P. Missocrol. Potion Class Print. A view from your desk during Potion Class, created by Queen Mab. Wolfsbane Recipe Page. A page torn right out of Perfect Potions, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Are we going to have a perfect potion book? Because I would love that. <laughs> Black Lace Wing Flies, a staple for your potion kit or shelf. Box designed by Wizardry Workshop, filled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Bone Regen, Bone Regen, Bone Regen, Bone Regen, I don't know. Potion, this healing potion mends and strengthens broken bones. It can also regrow vanished bones entirely. Number 10, Living Death Pen, I dare say one drop would kill us all. Designed for us by J.P. Missocro. Number 11, Gilly Tonic DIY Kit. It's time to brew your Gilly Tonic to breathe underwater. We can't wait to see the bottles that you make. Decorate them however you like and tag us on um, hashtag TWT Potions Class on Instagram. Labels designed by Wizardry Workshop. Kit prepared by Pure Blood Apothecary. This liquid should not be consumed. Do not drink it. <laughs> Do not drink it. All right. That is so cool. Number 12, Vintage Brass Scale. Scales from Warwick's Potion Supplies are a necessity when weighing, when weighing potion ingredients. Box designed by Wizardry, Wizardry, <laughs> Wizardry works off, I'm assuming it cut off. Number 13, Calming Drought Bath Potion. This mixture by Alchemy for the Skin contains pink Himalayan salt, hibiscus, lavender, sea salt, rose petals, and um, calendula flowers. Makes a calming bath and looks great on any potions shelf. Label designed by Wizardry Workshop. So yes, it is a brass product. Can I use it? So let's look at the back here, pre preparing our uh, Gilly tonic. Uh, let's read that real quick. When brewed properly, this tonic will allow you to breathe. You know what? I'm not gonna read it right now. I'll read it whenever I decide to make the Gilly Tonic. So it will be in that video. So stay tuned for that. Um, and with that, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the Gilly Tonic video. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>